Hi, welcome to episode 74 of Bitches of Horror. In this episode, we have a South American special. Yeah. Now, before we start, I want to say that I know this is from Mexico, and I know Mexico is not a part of, of South America, but it's the only Latin American shirt I have so and I didn't have any. it's mostly you know yeah. espanol you know <laughs> some Spanish going on there uh, but yes South American all films yeah yeah this time and uh, there's a lot of good film from South America yeah there is uh, it's um like very brutal I think I think a lot of South American films are very brutal yeah they we, are we Latin They're Americans are very brutal than aggressive the, than lots of films in America <laughs> yeah Definitely. It's different, like, they're more gritty. That's the thing. Yeah. They're like, yeah. yeah. So they don't make anything nice. No. Like, uh uh you're gonna suffer through this just like the characters. Yeah. You're not safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna start with a very gritty one uh, called Sendero. Uh, or The Path. Yes. Yeah. It's from 2015 by Luis, Luis uh, Rojas from Chile. Yeah, uh, Chile. We got a one! And uh, this is actually on Swedish Netflix. I'm not sure if it's on other Netflixes, but uh, this is definitely one of the most brutal films on our Netflix. Like, I was surprised I, to see how much too, gore. I, was, I was like, okay, what's this? Then I was like, this is on Netflix. Like, yeah. oh, this is much more brutal than Anything, all of yeah. these films together. <laughs> Basically, this is a little bit like uh, a little bit Texas Chainsaw Massacre-ish, but not really. It's about a group of friends, and they I can't remember if they're they they like get lost or something, and they wind up finding this house, and uh, or if they get they are going there. somewhere, and yeah. then uh, on the way they see someone who needs help. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and then and then they help this person, and things get take rough. A, yeah, yeah, take a rough turn. And this house is uh, very different from most houses that I've seen mm -hmm. in these types of films. Is there a word for these types of films? Torture porn? No. Is it? <laughs> but like, you know, like kind yeah. of not, it's like, it's like um, invasion reversed. It's like they kind of like bring, they bring you in. You into <laughs> their invitation home. films. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this is that type of film. And they kind of, you know, get locked up and, you know, start... They get in, like, different sections. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this is group... I think most of them are family. I think some of them were, like, friends, but mm -hmm. some of them are family. And um, they're all, like, different types of evil. And I quite like that. There's the sister who's more, like, smart mm -hmm. and makes, makes good decisions. Yeah. Good as in, you know, brutal, but good. Good for her, yeah. her family. Yeah. Uh, so but she's very like she looks really mean yeah. like, and very yeah, yeah, like yeah. nasty and then you have the the I think he's the older brother one of the brothers he's just the nastiest piece of work you've seen he looks nasty he is nasty he's just a slimy piece of shit and he plays the role so, so well. well yeah and then you Definitely. have like the little brothers like oh sort of stupid yeah. but still brutal yeah, most families. More like a one. sex yeah. crazed guy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's a very uh, brutal film, as we said. It is. It good. has a lot of good gore. Yeah. Like if if you love gore, you should check out this film. There are some scenes that weren't that good, gore wise, like special effects wise. There's one involving a car. That scene I thought was very not good. It didn't look like it should have. I, I feel. Um, but then there's like some that are really good and you're just like, oh, that gore is amazing. Yeah, I think yeah. they put a lot more effort into certain Of course, scenes, yeah, of and course. some of the scenes were, of course, a lot harder. Oh, yeah, um, maybe they were you know, time issues, I don't know, yeah. you know, you never know. But no. yeah, definitely some gore were just a lot yeah. better than, yeah. 
Um, I did think the acting was very good for for most people. Yeah, I think uh, so. Just and, I, I yeah. really wanted to get to know like the main characters more, like the group maybe more. Yeah, a maybe more, a bit more. There are some of the characters in that group you just like. I don't really care if you guys yeah, exactly. or she dies. Exactly. You're just like, eh. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I I do like uh, like towards the the end when a few characters, other characters were left uh, yeah. and something happened. I was like, oh no. Yeah. Oh, why? It takes like a yeah. it takes like few a few turns. Yes. yes and those does. are really good. Yeah. And I was actually surprised on how much I enjoyed this film. Yeah, me too. And after looking up on IMDb, I saw it had like a three point eight, and I was like, this film definitely doesn't deserve a three point eight. Even if you're not like the film isn't top class, like but you know it's a bit budget B film, but it's very good for what it is. It, it is. has that gritty look, and yeah. it's just so perfect. Yeah. And it's just. Yeah, it just does things that a lot of films don't do and makes it more interesting. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting that it's like from Chile. Yeah, like, and I and I yeah. like that like the the bad guys, even though they they're, they're all awful. shitty. Yeah, that you still like, not like them, like them, but like you like their characters, as in they fit so well. Yeah, yeah, and you get to see like not too much background, not too much, but like you still get to learn to know them and what they are. And uh, that I really enjoy. Yeah, I, yeah, the story was good. There's no bullshit. Exactly. Yeah, there's no bullshit. There's no unnecessary things. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. It works. Yes. Señor, recibe siento fuego. I give this an 8 out of 10. Me too. 8 out of 10. Yeah, I really... Uh, I was like, ooh, especially from I, Netflix. I, I, I was like, damn. That, I thought that you weren't going to like that. Really? When I saw that you were seeing it, I was like, oh, this is going to be hard. I, but I usually like... Because I liked it. Latin American like, films. Yeah. Like, yeah. most, like, Mexican and most Spanish. And, you know, the Chile films, I think, have been overall really good. Yeah. The I ones that I've so seen. Too. So that's why we're moving on to another one. Yes. Actually. Hidden in the Woods. <laughs> And this is our first movie that together. we ever watched together. Yes. And the first day we ever met. Yes. You know, when she just like popped into my room and like, can I borrow your shirt? And just started undressing from in front of me. And I was like, what? What's going on? Are we sleeping together? That's how I Are we? people. <laughs> yeah. She just like got into my bed. I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> it's like, well, who is this girl? Just met you today. Uh, but yeah. And that turned into a great friendship. Yes. Uh, and this is by uh, Patricio Valardes. Vallardes, mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Vaya. It's Valade. two L. Va uh, yeah, Vaya, but Vaya. we say Vaya, but that, I think that's a Spanish Vaya way of saying it. Okay. Because oh, we're in Europe. Yeah, sorry. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, Valar Valadares. <laughs> Valadares. And this is also from Chile, 2012. And uh, it's about a little bit similar. Yeah. People but, like that get abduct abducted. But fewer yeah. people. It's like, was it two? Two, yeah. By a really mean group of people. Yeah, like <laughs> like the worst. Mean. Like this film was very hard to watch sometimes. Yeah. Like certain scenes, I was like, <laughs> "This is not a date movie." Let's just say that, even no. though it was a good date for us. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we're you know food, yeah fucked you know, up. Yeah. But. But even for us, it was a yeah. bit tough. You're like, damn, ooh, oh. you don't do that. It's like, <laughs> you can cut someone's dick off, but you don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, um, yeah. No, but the characters worked so well. And especially the two main girls, mm -hmm. they were very good. and they, Convincing. Yeah, they portrayed their roles so good, and I felt so much for them. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is also a very gritty... Very dirty good, film yeah. um and I, I have to admit like this is one of my favorite brutal films out there uh, i think this film is very brutal the end is just ugh, fest yeah a dark dark fest but it's yeah. just everything is just like so brutal and film, good and 
gory and yeah, exactly. dirty and, and the film mm. goes into a dark place and then it goes even further <laughs> yeah. into a more dark You're like place. is it gonna get better is it gonna nah, nah. nah. maybe not no nah. it nah. can't get worse oh no. it got worse Whoa. Yeah, they actually did a remake of this, and I think he's also directed it. Yeah. Um, for an American remake, and we've wanted to watch it, but we haven't watched for it yet. For so long. I don't think it's released in Sweden. I don't we have think to get so. it from somewhere else. We outside. have yeah. to watch it. So if you know it. where to get it, like in yeah. Europe, would be best because yeah. our regions are different. Uh, that would be great. Let us know. But it's um, the original, anyways, is uh, very good, and I. Yeah, just love this film. Just watch it, please. Yeah. I don't think it's really that well known either. Like it isn't. No, I, I I hadn't heard of it at all when Jasmine mentioned it. I'm like, what? Okay. Yeah. Sure. It's a very good film. So uh, definitely check it out if you're into dark, gritty, brutal stuff that will punch you in the gut. Uh, yeah, nine out of ten for me. I will give this an 8 out of 10. I yeah. love this film. Because it reminds me of you. Yeah, it reminds mm. me of you too. That's why, that's why I give it a little point lower. You're like, oh. <laughs> 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 but what, that's why I only give it an 8 out of 10. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Otherwise, well, it would be a 10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we got a newer film. Uh, yes. What? The, water. the Water's Left Behind. Yeah. <clears throat> this is from the Onetti brothers who did Francesca. Mm -hmm. And also coming out with a new film, uh, Abacadabra. Yeah, another uh, giallo film, I think. Uh, this is from Argentina and also New Zealand. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure if that's where they filmed it or something. Yeah. I don't know, but um, yes. Uh, it's about uh, a documentary group uh, going out to a place that was flooded mm -hmm. with a woman who was involved in this flood. Over the past few years, the town of Opequin, 341 miles southwest of Buenos Aires, has been attracting tourists with its eerie apocalyptic atmosphere after a flood submerged it in salt water for more than two decades. And on the way there, they kind of get, stop at a cafe and they meet these like really hillbilly type of yeah. people who, um, you know, just... You pretty much know what's going yeah. to happen. And then they like you know keep going to this place yeah. where the the flood and then stuff you know escalates. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This film is very 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 similar to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It is. Like almost down to the dot not really like the house and stuff yeah, like that yeah not like shot by shot but definitely but, yeah. the feeling the kind of style the how where it goes like yeah yeah um which i didn't really enjoy i i think it's both both a good thing and a bad thing. Like, I, I think i just thought it was and, yeah i thought it was very unoriginal and that's what kind of like it's like oh well it's nothing new really and it's just the same thing again. You can take something, you can take inspiration from something and then make something of it your own. But this didn't really feel like they made it... Uh, of, they didn't really make it their own, if you get what I'm saying. It's yeah, not a different I, I, language, I know, so it know, feels yeah, different. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I, I still think they added some of course. things to the... Like, some twists and stuff that uh, like helped the film. Did it though? A they bit. added a, a twist, it, it but did. it wasn't like yeah, it wasn't like oh my god, oh, the best wow. thing ever, like in Saw, but uh, like in Saw. <laughs> yeah, but I think it helped the film. But it I was so it predictable. I don't think that particular thing was. I did. So I thought it was. I was like, well, okay, well, boo, big surprise. <laughs> I was like, okay, nice, huh. nice touch. Yes. Uh, I thought the acting was uh, pretty good. Yeah. From most of the people. Yeah. Um, no one was like over the top or like in a bad way. No. 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 And I like the gore. Yes. I like the gore. Yes. Nah, good gore. <laughs> uh, 
good. Uh, it's very good looking. The it cinematography is, the cinematography is very I, nice. Yeah, I said it while we were watching it. I was like, this. I love how this is filmed yeah. and the lighting, and it looked yeah. very. I mean, they very have clean. filmed giallo, so you know yeah, they yeah. kind of have to have that. Yeah, they had a, eye. It looked so cool. You yeah. know what I mean? The picture and everything was yeah, so symmetrical nice. and like yeah. it's very nice. That they did a superb job of. Yes. One thing that kind of had me going was the the editing. It just like cut in certain places and like had like quick shots of something that just could have been taken away didn't have to be there um that kind of it just like happened multiple times throughout the film we're just like oh what happened and then they they broke the rule the 180 rule yeah and uh, it was just like really that was a bit um it i would like to yeah. say unprofessional but not, it, not professional, not professional just, but just, just like they wanted it, to try that and maybe it doesn't suit like ev everyone and like no you like, need to have a step it, it didn't fit the film um i didn't think yeah i, I know yeah like, I just, certain I just, types of film can, can I don't, do these kind of things but not i don't think that the 180 thing really maybe it did like un consciously it like like oh, it like, wasn't like that of a it was just in in yeah. sequence or a shot or something yeah and, i don't think that really yeah, does too much it, no, but no. it was just the, the some of like the cuts just like they cut from there and then they're just there and then they cut back and you're like well ugh. and it wasn't that type of you know cut 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 scene it was more like th that i don't know it was just like oh we had to put the scene in so we're just gonna do it that sort of thing i don't know it's just it was a little bit weirdly cut mm. if you watch it maybe you know what i'm saying um but i did also like that one of the characters was wearing a print Francesca, sure. Picture. Yeah, that yeah, was that was so a nice cool, touch. That's a pretty beautiful poster. Yes, it is indeed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's very out of place music at times. Yeah, sometimes. Yes. It was like supposed to be really hard and you know, oh my god, emotional, and then it was just like this like really sort of happy, like rock song, and it was like what. Isn't this, what? It's like, uh, this is supposed to be hard, not like, oh. Makes me feel weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that, that I thought could have been better. But I, I don't know. I didn't really like the music overall. Not the regular music, but like the rock music that they had in it. It felt very, my friends made this music, so I'm going to put it in my, in my, in my movie. But also it felt very Latin American rock. Oh. Pop rock-ish. Oh. And maybe that's why. It's not my type of music, so maybe that's why I, I didn't really enjoy it. Maybe you need to listen it. to it more, you know, uh, enjoy the culture. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican half, yeah. but I prefer like salsa and, you know, oh. sort of that kind of Latin American music. Um, and metal. Yeah. But like, that, that thing between pop and metal, like the sort of rock <laughs> pop, that I don't enjoy. Oh, it's like, okay. it's not happy enough and it's not dark enough. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> You need I need either darkness or, yeah. or lots of happiness. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, but yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with this. Um, I haven't seen Francesca yet, but I've heard a lot of good things yeah, about I it. Watch it's it. really I hard to like find, find here. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, but this um, I felt was I don't know, like it just could have been better. It could have had it more of itself in it, and it yeah, could have had more. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit like newer elements that would have worked better, and then maybe a little bit of tweaking yeah. on the editing. Yes, but seeing the level of the gore yeah. and the cinematography, I'm I'm sure that like the next film will. Yeah, I liked like be, the grittiness yeah. and the gore yeah. and the, the cinematography. The acting was uh, pretty good as well. Yeah. But it's just like it just didn't get me there, really. Uh, it wasn't terrible, but no, it wasn't, wasn't it wasn't great. I will give it a six out of ten. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Okay. Yeah. I didn't I didn't hate it. Yeah. It was, so it was, yeah. let's move on to the short film of this episode. Yes. It's Talk to me. Talk to me by Audrey Martigliano. Uh, by uh, from two thousand nine. Yes, from Brazil. Yes. Um, this is about. Wait, let me think. Uh, which one was this? Around <laughs> love and reverse. Oh yeah, it was uh, about a man and, or a couple, mm -hmm. and then like you know he's trying to like talk to his wife and, um, you know they're just like an unhappy couple. Yeah, and you're like, but why? And then yeah, you kind of kind of like go yeah. back and yeah, you know, 
Uh, this one's about what was it about nine minutes? minutes. Yeah, and uh, I thought the story was pretty good. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, because the it it kind of drew me in because I wanted to know why why are they behaving like this? What's going on? I quite like the editing in this. Like when yeah, it wasn't so confusing. No, like, like it worked. Yeah, yeah, like the first thing you know yeah, the yeah, first yeah. editing there yeah. that was like really effectful you're like oh yeah oh shit what happened I, you know? I, I wasn't expecting that no. i was like oh okay and, yeah. that, and then it puts the whole story in a new pers- perspective and yeah. like makes me think differently and i was like oh okay. i liked how they put that up there uh yeah. what they could work more on i think is the cinematography yeah because that was so a too. bit it felt a bit amateurish yeah. you know let's yeah. film a film sort of thing yeah yeah but um uh the acting wasn't bad no uh and like they said, the story was really good. Yeah. So I think if you put a little bit extra on the cinematography and how it was filmed, and a little bit more on the music, yeah, I think it, it would be, be amazing. Really good. Yeah. Uh, I could definitely see this like kind of becoming like a long feature film if they like mm-hmm. put more into it, um, or just I just like to see more in the future from yeah. him or Aud- Audrey, right? Yeah, Audrey. Uh, so, um, yeah. I would love to see more from her. <laughs> and what do you give this? I give this a 7 out of 10. Me too. Yeah. 7 out of 10. So it's a solid film. Yeah. Uh, very, uh, yeah. I Like I said, I talked to, to uh, I said earlier in the episode that the South American films are really good. And uh, I think that they don't get enough recognition overseas. No. And that's especially why, here. That's why we wanted to do an episode. Yeah. And we'll do some more. We'll probably do a Mexican episode as well. Mm-hmm. Maybe a Spanish one, because there's a lot of Spanish films yes. as well. Um, just Latin yeah. America, you know. I'm not sure how many Puerto Rican films are out there, but I'm, I should find one. You know any Puerto Rican films? Let me know. Yes. Yeah, I need some of my, my heritage. <laughs> well, then we can do a Polish one. but like. Oh, yeah. Um, there's lots of Polish films, though, isn't there? The Mermaid one. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess, like... Like, older, older films. Older, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I would love to see, like, new modern things from Poland. It feels like they could do a lot, because Polish people are fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> like, a lot have, of Polish like, some people of the world's best cinematographers. Yeah. And, like, please, just... Don't... And their art, like, the yes. Polish art is a lot of yeah. uh, good artists it's... from Poland. And it's crazy. Yeah, it's exactly, that's what I'm saying, yeah, they're yeah. fucked up, like, not in a bad way. I mean, there's some it's bad good, ones there, yeah, too, yeah. but... You know, when I was in Poland recently, I went to uh, the... Uh, I can't pronounce his name, Bez- Beskinski. Oh, uh, Beskinski. Beskinski, yeah. Uh, his... Uh, gallery and that was amazing it was just like oh I love imagine a movie like in that style. yeah i know it would just be amazing yeah, and you know so, but then yeah. i met some like crazy people on the street who like wanted to beat me up and i'm like oh yeah well, <laughs> you know really racist to polish people but luckily they were like oh you're from sweden okay and then they started talking to us about world war Two and shit i don't know it was, it was really strange <laughs> yeah uh, but i do like poland and i would like to see more from poland as well yeah but, but that's why we do this kind of episodes to yeah. really bring more yeah. light on on films that should be seen and from yeah. certain and countries. countries yes yes yeah. not just you know the american that's why we did the, the australian special you know yeah. there's not many from there the only ones that people know about is wolf creek yeah and there's so much more that they have to give same with think, new zealand but i think there's so much more like in every country like every country Maybe. has at least a few gems that we want to bring out and yeah. we'll talk about. And well, that's what kind of yeah. like uh, Con Evernall from from the Baskin director. He was oh. talking about that there's a lot like there's not enough Turkish films, um, but now he's gotten out there. So I'm hoping that more people will take after a step because there's yeah. always bright people in every of course every country. Yes, um, and we want to shine a light on them. Like we got a lot of shit film here. Yeah. But <laughs> we have a few, a few, a few gems are good. Yeah, we'll do what we'll do an episode. That sounds yeah, you know, yeah. But fuck our country. We want to know everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'll do a Swedish one. Yeah, someday. Yes. 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 If there's any country you think that we should shine a light on, yeah, let us know. Comment, and uh, we'll do our best to do it. Yeah. Yes. So thank you for watching. Thank you, and stay horrific. Bye. Bye. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, yeah. Please let me get some dinner. <laughs>